because it's so hard to say hi to a camera. Take two. Hello friends, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Caitlin. Um, I'm going to be making content on thrifting, home decor, thrifting home decor, probably some thrift flips, DIYs, and stuff like that. Um, today for my first ever video, I feel like Ricky Bobby, I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hands. But today for my first ever video, we are going to go to Savers and I'm looking for home decor. So what I'm looking for is some wall art. Um, I need a couple things for plants, like just some planters. I have some plants that are getting bigger and I need new pots. I've been propagating a lot. So um, planters, wall decor, baskets, always baskets. I have a basket wall that I'm always looking to add to. And then just whatever is calling my name. That's how the thrift store usually goes. So we are going to head to Savers and I will see you when we get back. Okay, we made it to Savers. Hello from voiceover, Caitlin. I forgot it was senior day and it was just absolutely packed at the thrift store. So there are a ton of people, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover over this part of the video so you guys can actually hear what I'm looking at. So I love this Savers. This one is actually really good for home decor. They have a ton of home decor there. They have like aisles and aisles and I love it. They also have a really good basket section. I'm always looking for baskets so I love that they have a lot of them. I usually find the bigger baskets like kind of like this picnic basket kind of thing and I'm looking for the flatter ones to put on my wall most of the time so I do find a lot of those there which is really nice. I've also been looking for planters and like vases that I can propagate with and they had so many of them. This one was one of my absolute favorites. This guy was so cute and this jug I mean come on look at it. It's green. It's terracotta. I'm obsessed with this jug. I'm so excited about it. It's so cute. And I was also, like I said, looking for stuff to propagate my plants in. I have some pothos I'm propagating that I need to get into a jar, so I was looking for some of those. Another section I always check out is like the brass metal section, and I find a lot of good stuff in here. I also like the savers because they have really good prices. This guy was so cute, I shouldn't have anywhere to put it, so I left that one behind. But they also have a huge section of picture frames. I don't have a ton of places to put smaller picture frames, so I didn't actually pick any of these up. But they did have a really good selection. I really like this smaller one. That would look so cute in a gallery wall. And let's see, what else did I find? I've been kind of getting into copper but I'm not sure if I wanna switch from copper to brass. I don't know, let me know. Another section you should always look through is like this random wall. They just have bags of stuff, but sometimes you can find really cute stuff in there. Like I love that flower salt and pepper shaker. And my other favorite section is the wood. Like sometimes you just find the most random things in the wood section, but they're always good. I've also been looking to update my glassware. I'm looking for some that actually look exactly like this, but I'm looking for the bigger version. So I'm gonna hold out and wait for those guys. And another section you should always check out is the end caps. They kind of organize them here by color, which is really nice. I liked this guy, but I just didn't like the writing on it. So I left that one behind but they always have the best stuff on the end caps. Another thing that I'm thinking about doing is updating my plates to be like an eclectic like collection of different plates that are really cute. I loved this one. This is like the color scheme that I'm going for. It was $1.99 and I loved it. They didn't actually have a set though, so I left this guy behind. But I'm really sad that I didn't buy this set. 
I don't know what I was thinking. I love the texture and the flowers on it and the colors. Oh, I should have bought that guy. But I've also been looking for some of these smaller ones. I would have grabbed this one. I love the blue color on it. It actually did have a chip though, so I left that guy behind. But I do want to collect some smaller plates that are kind of mix matched and just kind of update my dishes to more secondhand. I also always look at the mugs. I don't need any more coffee mugs. I have so many, but I like to look for like matching sets while I'm there that are kind of the color scheme I'm going for. And I also, I look at every section because you never know what someone's gonna pick up and like put down in a, like in the wrong section. So I get pretty much just browse through everything I thought this guy was cute. That would be so cute as a plant stand. And this is one of the sections that I don't go through a ton. It's usually like a lot of water bottles and like plastic Tupperware. But sometimes you do find the really cute like glass bottles, mason jars. So I always like to look through that section. This is the part that's mostly like water bottles and coffee pot mugs, but sometimes you find some gems in there. Like this salt container. I should have bought that too. What was I thinking? It's so cute. And I found actually the matching little fish guy to the other one. But like I said, I just can't decide if I want to switch over from having mostly brass to having some copper. I don't know. I feel like copper is a little more farmhousey, but I do really like it. And this was so cute. It looks like a little mini crock pot almost but it has the copper on the outside and I loved that but I just couldn't decide on the copper okay does anybody need a brass pig tell me why I wanted to buy this I don't know I loved it <laughs> this is another one of the ink caps that I love the like brown and green ink caps are always my favorite I actually didn't buy anything from this one this time, which is kind of weird, but I did love this bowl. It reminds me of like burl wood, kind of, in glass form. And this pitcher was so darn cute. I really liked it, but I wish it would have been a little like more creamy instead of a yellow color. And I would have definitely picked that up if it was lighter, but it was still super cute. Another section I like to look at is like the linens, the sheets even. A lot of people are like, sheets at the thrift store. But something like this would be super cute turned into like curtains, pillowcases. You just kind of have to look at it and think about, okay, what else can I do with this? Um, I found another one in just a second. This guy. I thought this would be so cute. You could turn that into even like a shower curtain would be adorable. And these blankets, I have been getting so many Instagram ads for these blankets, which I had one of these on my couch growing up. So they're back, but I wasn't super into the ducks. So I'm kind of holding out, waiting for the perfect one on that one. Also been looking for some quilts and like crocheted blankets. I like this one, but I'm looking for more of the like 70s colors. So I held off on that one. And I also really like to look at like the sewing section. I'm looking for some macrame cord, which I didn't find any of, but they did have some really pretty yarn there, which I thought about picking up, but I did leave behind. Another thing that's on my thrift list is a table for like right when you walk in my front door. I'm looking for something small and I thought this guy was so cute, but it actually ended up being a old sewing table, which was pretty cool, but I need something with a little bit of storage for by my door. So I did leave that one. That was a really good price. And if you refinish that, you could redo the wood like a little bit darker. That'd be so pretty. I also saw this vintage, like, Crossley radio, maybe, that I thought was super cool. And this guy, this is a lamp that everybody and their mother is looking for right now, <laughs> which is cute. It's just not totally my vibe. So that's it. We are going to head back home. Hi, friends. Welcome back. 
I've got all of my stuff here. Actually, not all of it in the back, but this is most of it. Isn't this bag so cute? Those are reusable ones they were selling at Savers. And I just got a pink and green polka dot plant. It has a fancy name, but it reminds me of this. It was super cute, so I grabbed that while I was there. But first up is this guy. It was $1.99 just a basket. I thought it was super cute though. I'm gonna put a plant in it. Just see if I can get like a bowl or something or a pod that'll fit in here. This will be super cute. On the shelf, on my balcony, something like that. Um, next up is this guy. This is for my basket wall. And I just thought it was so cute. Like little handles. It was $2.99. And I have a lot of the circle ones for my basket wall, so I really like that. This one is like a more of a rectangle, so I'll look really nice. And then next up for the baskets. This one was $2.49. And I like this one a lot because it's kind of different. I have a lot of like rattan, this kind of wicker baskets. But this one's actually like a straw weaving. And I thought this was so cute. I need some darker ones too for my house wall. So, love this one. This guy is my last basket. It was $1.99, which really isn't bad for these bigger ones. I feel like sometimes I see them marked up to like $5 to $7, which I just can't pay for a basket. So, I was really excited to find this one. I like these ones that like, they're not totally flat, they go out a little bit, it adds some dimension to your wall. So this guy's really cute, and I'll insert a video of my basketball after I put these on. Next up, let's see, what are we gonna do next? I got these. What are they? I have no idea. I don't actually know what these are, but I thought they were so cute. So there's a big one, and a small one, and the big one was $3.99, and the small one was $2.99. But these are super cute. I don't know what they are. You know what they are? Comment down below and let me know. But they actually have a sticker on the back that says Chadwick Japan. So I might have to do some research on these, but I was thinking they'd be so cute, like on a wall. They have these little, I don't know if you can see that. They have a little hole there so you can put a string through them and get on a wall next to each other. I think they'd be so cute. I love those. Next up is this little guy. It's just a little brass bowl. It was $1.99. I don't actually know what you would use this for. It would be cute as like a change bowl. Put your change in right when you walk in the door. A little succulent. It would be so cute. But I just love this. I decorate with like brass, black, olive green, and wood tones most of the time. Those are my favorite. And so I thought this guy was so cute. And I actually got this thing. I have no idea what this is either, honestly. But I like that it was brass and it was $2.99. And I actually found this after the bowl. And I was like, what if I just, eh, eh? Kind of cute. You put a succulent in there. It doesn't fit perfect, but it's not going anywhere. So I thought that was super cute. I'll probably put that on the shelf, put a succulent in the bowl. And next up is this guy. This takes me way, way back to chemistry class. Bunks and burners, safety goggles. You all know. But I really like to propagate plants. I have some pothos right now that I'm trying to propagate. And I need some bigger bottles. I always save like any glass bottles that I get, like kombucha, pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. But um, the openings on those ones are a little bit smaller. Ooh, there's a one liter thing on here. Okay, the openings on those ones are a little bit smaller and I like this one because it was wider on the top so you can fit the roots in and out better once they actually grow and I thought the little stem part was so cute. So I'm excited to use that for my plants. Next, I got this. Some of you are probably like, what? Why? But I love it. It's so cool. It's got the wood, like distressed, red, metal. It's got everything. 
I love it. And I was watching a video the other day and someone was talking about how you can use these like old spools to make pendant lights. So you just take the string, the hanging light bulb and you string it through here and then this just kind of sits right on top like your light bulb sits here and this sits right on top. I thought that would be so cute and I wanted to try it and then the next day I found this not safe versus water the oven. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. So. <laughs> so I picked this guy up. I think I'm gonna try to make a like grow light pendant light out of it. I have some plants that need grow lights and I just didn't want to put them up because sometimes they're not that cute. But I think, you know, pendant light, grow light, cute. Eh? Architectural, like salvage, rustic, industrial vibes. I thought they were so cute. And let's see. When I was waiting in line, there was a huge line. And I was waiting right next to the purses. So and I'm not really a big purse person. Like sometimes I'll use a purse. But I saw this guy. And it was just so cute, like classic, um, like brown leather, and it does say Monday genuine leather. I don't know. It's cute though. Has a little twist, twist clock, and brass. Just opens, and it's cute. It's small. This is like a if you're going out, and you just want to take your phone and your wallet kind of purse. I thought it was super cute. The next thing that I picked up was actually some earrings. They're these like little rattan wicker looking earrings. And I don't actually wear earrings a ton, so I picked these up for my I picked these up for my sister. I need to mail them out to her. But I thought they were so cute and she does wear earrings a lot. So couldn't leave those guys. They were $5.99. I think I actually had a 20% off coupon, so most of this was 20% off of the price I'm saying. I don't know where my receipt went. It's lost to the world. Let's see. Next, this guy. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. I've been seeing the planters everywhere that are the David statue, which is just the head and the plant comes out the top. And I want one so bad. And I don't want to spend the money on it. And I'm actually thinking about trying to figure out how to make it with like a mold and cement maybe that's a project for another time so when i saw this guy i was like yes this is this is it it was 199 which like this is stone like it's a substantial planter for 199 and i love it can't wait to put this on my balcony i have some plants that need new pots like i said and one of them will be going in here yeah. let's see next up are these guys so I saw one of them on the shelf and I'm kind of moving towards collecting like matching sets or even if it's just two, like a pair um, of drinkware. And these guys are so darn cute. It's like 70s vibes, the brown with like the little bit of terracotta, rusty color. I'm obsessed and they're actually like speckled inside. And these do have a stamp on them, so I need to look these up too, but I just loved the colors. I actually have a cab- the dog's just stealing stuff out of my bag. But I actually have a cabinet where all of my drinkware goes, like pewter cups, and so these will go in there. And I got three of these. Like, what- Someone older probably knows what these are. Is it a coaster holder? Is it a coaster? Is it an ashtray? A trivet? A spoon rest? Just decoration? I don't know. But I actually got three of them. They are all different like homesteads on the coasters. And I thought they were so dang cute. It is like my dream to have farmer homesteads. So anytime I see anything with farms on it, it's just cute. These guys are so cute. This is Homestead in Winter. There we go. Homestead in Winter. And these are all right next to each other. This is the old Homestead in Winter. And the last one, I actually knocked it out of the holder, so I need to glue it back in. But it's the Farmer's Home Winter. And I just thought these are so cute. 
I don't know what I'm actually going to use them for. I need to look up like what they're actually for. But I love them. I'll find a use for them somewhere. And we are now to the last couple things. So one of the bigger things I got is this painting. And I'm pretty sure someone just did this at home, but it's signed. It's an original. I'm obsessed with it. Like the colors the opacity, the watercolor vibes, mm, it's perfect. It's all the colors I'll have to decorate with, and I am doing some gallery walls, like I said earlier, so I might frame this guy. I don't know. I think it'll look good frame. But it's $1.99, which like for a hand-on painting, can't beat that. So I'm really excited about that. I think I will frame it. And next is this planter. I really, there's dog tails all over this video, that's okay. I really love this planter. I was looking for some bigger ones. Like I said, I have some smaller plants that need to be potted up. And this guy is just so cute. It's actually like real metal. It's kind of heavy. And it is just like the most perfect like rub, dark bronze. I love it. I've been getting into like almost like that other planter. They just had this guy, the like pedestal look. I don't know. I'm in it. This guy was $6.99 and I just want to put a fern in this. I feel like I'm turning into my mom and my grandma, which is fine because I love them both dearly, but I am just so excited to get a fern and put it in the sky. So hopefully that will happen soon. I gotta run to the Oh, and grab a fern. And last but not least, my favorite, my favorite thing I found. This was $9.99. And I turned down the plant aisle, the, oh my gosh, the dog tails, the planter aisle, and I saw this and I was like, yes. And someone picked it up right before I got there and I was like, please, please put it back down. I just really want it, so I just stood there. She put it down and I snatched it. It's like, I have to have this. This is me in a jug, like distressed terracotta, the green, like olive green glaze, like the handle. I'm obsessed with this. It would be so cute, like flowers, even just like, on my patio, on a shelf, on a table. This will look like literally everywhere. <laughs> Dogs. I am so excited for it. So that is everything I picked up today. I'm really excited. I have been waiting to film this haul to put the baskets on my wall, so I'm probably gonna do that as soon as I finish this video. But thank you for watching. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram here-ish. And like, comment, subscribe all the things the youtubers say but i'm really excited about this i'm really excited to make more videos and i will see you guys soon bye